is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel well if you guys remember earlier last week this motherboard was in our flux mining rig and if you guys remember i powered down that flux mining rig i brought it up to my spare room tried to power it back on and nothing well i went ahead and picked up a 3060 ti eagle off of newegg and it came with of course a motherboard combo so a b450 so this is the asrock and we have a gigabyte so they use they use the same socket in am4 so i was able to take the cpu out of that and put it into this and now i'm up and running with this cpu which is awesome so i've deemed this motherboard unfortunately shot uh, i did go ahead and pull the cmos battery on it for over 24 hours nothing i use the jumper to try to reset it nothing it just doesn't display anything no activity or anything so anyways this is the gigabyte b450m and i got it up and running we have bios up here and i thought this is a great opportunity to go over bios settings that i recommend you set before you get into fully building out your mining rigs so everyone's bios is different this one, this B450, the BIOS layout is different than that B450 BIOS layout. So keep this in mind, take this as a grain of salt. You will have to do some hunting in order to find these as everyone's BIOS is different. So as you guys can see, I don't have a graphics card at all installed and I'm running directly off of HDMI. So we've loaded up our BIOS. We're at the home screen here. First thing you wanna look for is a setting and I'm going to go to miscellaneous settings here and the setting is PCIe slot configuration now if you're having issues loading more than a few GPUs let's say it's a six card rig only three load up one thing I would do is come in here and change this to gen 2 if that still doesn't work I'd come in and change it to gen 1 sometimes you need to set these statically in order to get it to work properly I'm gonna set it to auto until I have a problem. Next spot that you wanna go is go over to peripherals. And once you're in peripherals here, the second one down is initial display output. So I'm gonna change that to IGD. Now what that's gonna do is when you're booting up and you start to add a bunch of graphics cards, instead of the video defaulting over to the graphics card to provide video it's going to keep video coming out of the hdmi port on onboard so you're not chasing down which graphics card is actually displaying output another setting that you're going to want to do in here is come down and it says above 4g decoding this one is super important for multiple gpus you want to make sure this is set to enable next thing that i would do is i would come over to power and once you're into power you're going to look for a setting that's similar to ac back so what that is is when the power goes out and the rig shuts off and let's say your power comes back on the last thing you want is somebody nearby that has to go ahead and hit the power button so what you can do is you can come in here and say ac back and you can change that to say always on. That will go ahead and when the power is returned to the machine, it will go ahead and power back on. Other than that, you could go through the entire BIOS and like turn off everything under the sun. Like, oh, I don't need Bluetooth or I don't need a wireless or I don't need HD audio. And, and those things are helpful, but the ones that I just went through there are very much your basic bare bone settings. Once you're finished, don't forget to go to save and exit make sure that you do save and exit just to be safe. You don't wanna lose your settings and go ahead and click yes. It's gonna go ahead and reboot and then drop you right back in. Well, that's it for today, guys. Short video going over some default BIOS settings for a multitude of different motherboards out there. As I said before, where these settings are located will vary based off of what motherboard you're using everyone's different even the wording is different the menus are different what the titles of those settings are called are different they're a little similar but they're mo they're most likely not going to be word for word well 
Hopefully this was helpful for you as new miners getting into configuring your first mining rig. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.